Hello, you wonderful people out there. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about the overrated Instagram strategies that you may be wasting your time on. This topic actually came from the questions we always get and we realized we could kind of put it in an underrated, overrated fashion. So the overrated Instagram strategies that you're wasting time on and the underrated Instagram strategies that would give you more bang for your effort. So what would actually help you grow on the platform, make sales, and make the right decisions to overall hit your goals. And this actually came from like a, I watched this fitness guru and he did it with like health tips and I thought it was really cool. So we're like, hey, let's do this in a really super rapid fashion as well and give you our best advice for things that you need to start paying attention to and things you can consider throwing away. We also have Dan, our social media manager, and Ria, our project manager, coming over today because we're in the middle of working on a offer that we're putting together which was actually from you all guys if you ask for something if you give us feedback if you tell us you want to see something on the channel if you want a product anything from us we will create it agency or not even though we're busy and we have the clients we will always find time we put it in notion so stay tuned as we list off the overrated Instagram strategies you're wasting your time on and the underrated Instagram strategies you should be paying attention to you, you, you. You said you want a bad one Well baby, I'm as bad as they come you Said you want a hot one yeah. You with the hottest under the sun But be careful what you wish for Alright guys, so you may notice that we are now in a car You didn't even get to see Craig in the last segment Except for the fact that you were sitting at the table with Rhea and Dan But as I said, yeah uh, That was two days ago because we ended up working really late with Rhea and Dan So now we are in our car We're picking up a few friends But we wanted to make sure that we got this content done So we can get this video out We're just gonna go pretty much rapid fire back and forth On these overrated tips that you need to ignore and some underrated tips that you should consider, okay? Yes. Okay, maybe not ignore, but for the first one, for example, posting trending content. Now, this is overrated. the overrated tip. And the reason that we're saying this is because trending content is important in the moment in order to get some momentum and to get some views. However, it's not the be all and end all because when we're talking about trending content, that means it's timely content, which means it doesn't last forever. Correct. Now, what's underrated, underrated. is posting evergreen content. Yes. Which is content that lasts through anything, just like evergreen trees. That's actually how I remember it. Evergreen content is available year round, all the time. It doesn't really change. That's what we often try to do, to be honest, for, yeah. I, I don't know if we have a percentage. You know, 70, I would say the large evergreen? percentage of our content, if we were to say it, it'd be like 75%. Unless we're doing a video that's about like Instagram updates or something timely, like our last threads video or something like that. Generally, we post evergreen content and that's because that's the same content that lasts forever that people can keep referring to. You had someone on Instagram even reach out about a video like four months, five months, six months ago, um, today Long being ago. like, hey, what's yeah. the part two? It might yeah. even been longer than that. And that's because it's content they were still interested in that was still educational that they could still get value from yes. today Even if we filmed it and recorded it and put it as a reel six months ago ten months ago We are suggesting that the underrated side of things as far as posting things that will last forever is that content will keep on giving Yes, whether that's money whether that's views attention subscribers followers, whatever it might be. Exactly. And another benefit of that too is that you can continue to repurpose that content. Exactly. Which and we do. Which we do often because the principles of it are usually going to stay consistent throughout. Yes. Focus on what's evergreen, what's a topic that's important, that's actually meaningful, that can last when you're creating content so that you get to repurpose it for years to come, but you can pin it to your stories. You can do all these things that allow the content to continue to trend consistently instead of shooting up and shooting down. That's exactly right. Next one. Posting, say like 15 times per week, is overrated. overrated. And I guess the context here is the underrated is posting quality content, the keyword being quality, less often. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we've always said here, when you choose your cadence of how often you post, make sure it's something that you can stick to. And the immediate thought in, in everyone's head, which is fair enough, is that I need to post every day, four times a day, I need to be there. And, and that's just a lot of pressure, a lot of stress, and highly, highly likely, extraordinarily unnecessary. Yeah. We've found that ourselves, we've done some tests, and we found a nice cadence that seemed to work for us. Yeah. And you need to do the same for yourself. So you could test and find out what works. At the end of the day, it's, it's always quality over everything else and the quality is what's going to resonate long term it kind of ties back into the evergreen yeah. uh, last one whereas like that'll last forever and it'll perform forever if it's quality content that people can get value from um, or entertainment from or information from whatever it might be just 
consider focusing more on the quality than stressing yourself out to post crazy often. It's exactly. just not worth it. It would be much more in your benefit to create 12 pieces of high quality content that lasts you a full month. It's also just better for you. Like this is supposed to be a tool that you're using to drive business results. So you also probably have a business that you're focusing on as well. Or even if you're a creator, it's like it's going to get you better brand partnerships if the content you create is more beautiful and actually something that they might want to have you reproduce for them, for example example versus just rushing and putting out like anything just because you need to get on the trend or you need to do these things. 100%. Uh, the next one and we're going to talk about something that's highly overrated but still important. Yes but in comparison to the underrated that's like exactly the juxtaposition. The juxtaposition. The juxtaposition. And I know you're all going to be like what? <laughs> <laughs> hashtags guys okay and the reason that we're saying hashtags are overrated is because SEO is underrated. What the meaning behind this is, is hashtags are only one piece of the puzzle. And often we find when we're speaking to clients and people that we consult with, they're so focused and obsessed with the hashtags and that's just one component. And we actually did a full video about like how many hashtags you should use, our studies in terms of, we did a six month study. We'll link it for you so that you can see it and it'll also be in the description box below. But in the end, we found that it's only a fraction of what's going to have you reach people. SEO are all the components that are going to help you reach people and that drives way more. We also did a video on SEO, so we'll make sure to link that. Instagram focuses on a variety of signals in order to know who to serve you to. So just focusing on hashtags is not going to do everything for you. You need to be focusing on the keywords that are in your captions, in what you're saying. Mm. When you're creating reels, you need to make sure that you're actually adding text that Instagram can read, which means that you need to be adding native text. In your bio, you need to have keywords there. There are all these different components. Alt text, alt text. Um, you'll Stupid see in that Instagram SEO video, we really spoke to that. All of these factors are important in making sure that your content gets more reach. Just focusing on the hashtags alone is not going to get you where you want to be. It's fractional in comparison to the full picture. Correct. And SEO was only a pretty new thing, to be fair, mm -hmm. on, on Instagram in the last year, year and a half, yep. maybe. So it wasn't really a thing before. Hashtags was arguably the primary way of being found aside from you know, the searchable uh, title exactly. section of your Instagram bio. So keep that in mind. You know, hashtags are important, like Tiff said at the beginning, but SEO is more important now. So, you know, make sure those keywords are in every element of your post, exactly. bio, account, everything. And that's because hashtags are a part of the SEO picture, guys. Correct. So always exactly. always consider that. Yes. All right, next one. Going viral. Now, that is because what is more important is slow and steady growth that is highly underrated. underrated and the reason that's highly underrated is because a lot of people focus on the metrics the big number but what you need to be focusing on is do you have the foundation and the fundamentals built to handle any virality that would even come your way what would you do when a high volume of people come your way that's what you need to be focusing on so that way that you can scale correctly there's no point getting 10k on a random or 10 million views on a random trend that has nothing to do with your business because how does that help you and your goals in the end right if you did a video as a creator that's completely different niche than yours if you don't want to follow that niche that's how you get trapped in doing something that you don't love so focus more on creating content for your community that connects that is consistent and that slow growth same kind of growth we had is so much more beneficial we did a whole rant on this we will include it in the cards and in the description box below yes absolutely alrighty overrated is a bit of a surprising one metrics now once again the context is the underrated side is impact having actual impact on your community building a community on the individuals in that is much more important than how many likes you got on a post. Obviously, metrics are very important to know where you're at. You know, you want to grow your followers, you want to grow your audience, you want to make sure people are engaging proactively with your post. That's cool, that's great, but what's a like compared to changing someone's life? Like, for example, we've said this a lot, there's an element of joy that we have received from doing this YouTube channel and the comments that you wonderful humans leave it means so much to us when you guys are like, oh my God, this is so actionable or like, thank you for this tip. I never understood this. This helped me run ads. This helped me grow. All these things where it's like a tangible result that you could see from what your efforts are. Exactly. Yeah. And that is like, that to us is impact. 
So whilst we're not the largest channel on YouTube in our niche as far as, you know, social media tips and, and things like that, we feel like we're having a real impact on our community because of the things that you guys tell us. So we're like, all right, well, we're doing something right. And I feel like that's what you guys need to be focused on. There's, once again, is all of these sort of like societal or cultural things where everyone's like obsessed with posting a lot of being everywhere and getting a million likes and a million followers, where it's more like you can have a thousand followers and they love you. That thousand true fans is a theory. You exactly. look up and it's fantastic. So you know, keep that in mind, like worry about how you're impacting people and delivering that value consistently over time, as opposed to how many likes your posts get much more 100%. important and you'll feel so much better about your life. hundred percent. And the next overrated tactic on Instagram, this is your one. <laughs> boosting a post. You have heard me say this and I will continue to say this until the end of time. Do not waste your money boosting a post. The underrated and far more valuable and effective approach when it comes to ads on Facebook and Instagram is to use Ads Manager. Ads Manager okay. is where all great ads happen. And in short, the reason is because boosting your post directly on feed, so that's a little blue button that you'll see that's like, hey, if you boost this post, you'll reach 35% more people or 90% yeah. and all of that. That is Nonsense. so far less customizable and tailored when you compare it to the Ads Manager experience. When we're talking about Ads Manager, this allows you to get in the full nitty gritty of the person that you want and really select objectives that drive the specific results where boosting a post is far more generic and usually, more often than not, more expensive. And remember, what we want to do always with ads is highest performing at the lowest cost. And that is the antithesis of what boosting a post does. We preach about Instagram ads a lot. We teach about Instagram ads a lot. We'll leave a playlist in the description box below Maybe for you to check cards. out. I think we're out of cards. That's why I didn't even bother ah, saying it. I respect it. Um, but highly always recommend, and I'm happy to talk about it. I actually do want to do a video on boosting versus ads manager. So yeah, if you do idea. want to see that, let, let us know. know. Um, but yes, go into ads manager, do the extra work. All the good things are always in the extra work. Yeah. Boosting a post is so easy, it should let you know that it's not as effective <laughs> as going grab, into Ads Manager. Yeah. So, guys, that's, that's it. it. Let us know what you thought about the style of video. You know, we're trying to go with like the vloggy, yeah. kind of more relaxed sometimes, you know, so sometimes we sit down, but sometimes we just take you where we are. We got to go pick up our friends now. Even our camera's yelling at us. It's time to go. We out. We'll see you in the next one. Peace. Bye.